bloody church bells. So we're going to do another macro photography video today. Um, we're going to compare that budget setup that I made a video about a few years ago, which is the Canon 600D with some extension sheaves and the 18 to 55 lens. Then we're going to stick on the, um, can't remember what make it is, but it's a cheap flash from China with the, let's call it a custom made flash diffuser. And we're going to compare that to the 5D Mark III with the 100 millimeter f 2.8 macro lens. There's a book here. We're going to use the same flash on each setup just to keep it as similar as possible. The one thing you could do different is you could put the extension tubes in between this, but I figured to keep it a fair test, it'd be good just to keep it as it is. You know what, I think I'm gonna try and find some ladybirds because they didn't move around as much. There's some weird bugs on here actually. So I'm not too sure what these are. They're sort of, they're dark and look a little bit like caterpillars. So we'll use the 5D with 100 millimeter first. The closest that I can get to them physically is there. We'll just wait until that wind dies down a little bit. And it doesn't fill the frame as much as I'd like it to. Let's see how it compares to this cheaper setup. Now I've got all three extension tubes stacked together for this. So we should be able to get really close. You would think that the quality would be miles better with the 100 millimeter, but we'll find out now. So we'll stick it at 55. Stick the flash about there. Turned off the stabilizer put it into infinity. And then with this setup, that's as close as I need to be. They're pretty weird looking things. I think we should try and find something a bit nicer than that. But macro wise, this is winning so far. Let's find some ladybirds. When I was looking around, there was a ladybird, but it's gone down into here. There's another, I don't know what it is, but it's not going anywhere. So it'd be a good thing to uh, take some test shots on. And the thing that I'm noticing, oh, there's a ladybird down here actually. It's gonna work. The thing that I'm noticing is you don't have to get as close if you're using the actual macro lens. You're not getting as much magnification though. So, um, pros and cons, I guess. I think it's going to be better coming in from this angle, actually. Okay. He's on the move. Oh, she's on the move. It's definitely more difficult with the, the budget setup. I'm having trouble finding it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to give the win to the actual macro lens. I don't think I actually got a shot in focus because it was moving around too much and you have to get really close. So we'll go back to that one that's not moving and give the, the budget setup a chance. So, that thing is a similar size to the ladybird. Sort of a flat green looking thing. I've got no idea what that is. Did you ever have them try up things when you were a kid? It's like a alien looking thing. We'll have a go with the proper macro lens now as well. Yeah, it's like a totally different shot. Comparing the two side by side, the one with the 
600D is quite a lot more vibrant and it's more of a close-up shot whereas the the macro lens it's I guess you could call it more of a, a storytelling shot because you got more of the plant that it's on you got the leaf behind it and you got another um, these are like thistle flowers it's not necessarily worse I, but I wouldn't say it was a macro shot hey there's a the ladybird I'm gonna get a ladybird shot with a budget so you know what I don't think I am gonna get a shot with the budget set up of a ladybird. I don't know where it's gone. Okay, let's try something else. I moved around a little bit to get a, a better look at some flowers and there's a couple more ladybirds here. So we'll give this another go. I'm gonna start with the 600D this time. And I would say, if you are doing this yourself, you're probably not gonna have these problems because you're just gonna be using one setup it's a lot better if you just commit to one. I'm trying to get the same photo with two completely different things. So that's where my problems are coming from. But we'll give this another go. Okay, this is working better. That ladybird is it's just sat there. It's not the most interesting photo, but for comparisons, it should be good. We've got a few photos there. I'm gonna go into a darker room because it's, it's hard to look at the screen on here and we'll see what we've got. Looking through these, we've got totally different results. The colors look completely different as well. They look warmer on the cheaper setup, which I, I prefer. The colors just look more, more vibrant. So we've got the pictures of them, sort of black caterpillar looking things. I might have missed focus slightly on the cheap setup, but the autofocus has done a pretty good job with the um, on the actual macro lens. And then the ladybirds, yeah, it's face looks in focus to me. I quite like how it's got all the stuff around it looking at it there. Usually when I'm trying to do the macro stuff, I'm just trying to get the bug, but it sort of makes it more interesting there, having all the plants that it's living in. On the cheap setup, I've got a lot of missed shots. Yeah, I didn't get any decent photos of the ladybird in that first, first run. What I was trying to do is get the same photo but on two different cameras. I think I was asking too much there. Then after the ladybird, we did that weird green looking thing. The focus is a bit weird on the actual macro lens. The inset sharp, some of the area around it isn't, but that's sort of just the way it is with the macro photography. The depth of field is like thrown off because of, um, I don't really know the technical term. I think I prefer the shot on the cheap setup for that though. I'm not sure you'd notice the the insects with the proper setup. And then I went back trying to get some ladybird photos. I'm not too sure which ones I prefer though. With the cheaper setup, it's a it's a ladybird photo. With the macro lens in 5D, it's a photo of the plants with a ladybird on it, if that makes sense. This one is more definitely macro. So what you could do is you could put the extension tubes onto this setup and then get even closer. I think I might do that next actually. I'm gonna go back out there and have a play and just use one camera at a time and see what I can get. I got some photos of the ladybirds this morning with, the, with this setup, the 100 mil in the 5D Mark III. And I didn't realize how brutal the ladybirds were. It was eating this insect and 
I don't know. I just didn't expect Lady Bird to do that kind of thing. Which is kind of stupid because they've got to eat too. But yeah, I hope you found that helpful. You could see the difference between the two setups. I'd say this is probably more fun, like the cheap version with the extension tubes and the entry level camera. I got the 100mm because I do like product photography and the workflow definitely sped up a lot and it was a lot more reliable using that lens but for taking pictures of bugs in the field I, I'm not sure if it'd be worth the investment and I know that this setup with the cardboard and plastic takeaway tub flash diffuser isn't the best look but you're going to be crawling around taking pictures of bugs in the field so it really doesn't matter in my opinion you're going to look a bit weird either way and that's fine with me i don't care but i hope you like the video i'll link the macro setup video below i'm going to be heading out this afternoon going after some deer so i might make a video on that but if not, I'll see you next time.